in Vegas stays in Vegas, but not for long. Abby and Travis pick things up right where they left off in the sequel to Beautiful Disaster and can't seem to stay out of the limelight of trouble. After a wild night of partying in Vegas, the two lovers wake up to find out that they've said, I do, and must decide whether or not the marriage is worth fighting for or if it's just another disaster waiting to happen. Funny enough, I'm more of a fighter than a lover, I think, insofar as I'm more willing to be uh, passionate about the things I'm very passionate about. Traditionally, like, snuggle bug kind of guy, that's not really me, I would say. I... Really? I do know how to do nunchucks. I know a whole, like, nunchuck routine, and I do have my black belt in Taekwondo. Um, if I dared you right now to pick up nunchucks... I, I could swear on my dog's life I could do it. Okay, that's pretty confident, because your I dogs know. mean everything to you. I know. Okay, okay. I can do it. Look, I'm doing it right now with my invisible nunchucks, so I can do it. But what's a wedding without a honeymoon? Travis and Abby waste no time celebrating their nuptials on the sandy beaches of Mexico alongside some returning faces to the cast. A lot of it was improv, and, and led by our fearless director, Roger Cumble, as well, who really um, has sensibilities that, like, lend themselves to that amount of comedy and improv. Our whole crew has worked on two movies now, and that makes it a lot easier to create that on-set environment, which is fun, in my opinion. I think that kind of stuff shows on screen. You're suffocating her! She's my wife! She has a bad habit of disappearing, and I don't want that to happen to either of us! We want you to fight for her! And while their on-screen characters experience a tidal wave of ups and downs, Sprouse and Gardner share their own advice as recent newlyweds. I think perfect is someone that you genuinely wake up with that makes you feel like your life is easier to live because they're with you. Um, that you love and you cherish and you want to hold and be with and you have fun with. Life's going to get hard and there's going to be a lot of hard stuff that just happens throughout uh, a lifetime with a partner, but keep the light moments light and have fun and um, just enjoy the time when it's just the two of you. Travis and Abby are not what you would consider traditional romantic characters. Right, so it's nice actually having that as a rubric by which to maybe not understand or take lessons from for your own relationship. So I did walk away with my uh, own understanding of that and what to do and what not to do. Yes, segundo! Nobody!